Congratulations on completing the task and on writing the code to generate Poisson random variables. In this exercise, we're going to learn to generate yet another type of random variable. This time, however, the random variable we are going to generate is going to be a continuous rather than a discrete random variable. Before we get onto that, however, let's first briefly recap the idea from the previous two videos. As I discussed in the last video, we can generate multi multinomial random variables by using the elements of the probability mass function to ge generate a segmented line of length 1 as shown here. Any code to generate multinomial random variables starts by generating a uniform random variable and then uses this segmented line to make a decision about the value of the final multinomial random variable. As shown in the code on the right hand side of the slide, here the value of the multinomial random variable is set equal to zero if the uniform random variable falls within the blue segment of the line. If the uniform random variable falls within the green segment of the line, the multinomial random variable is set equal to 1. Lastly, if the uniform random variable falls into the red segment of the line, the value of the multinomial random variable is set equal to 2. What I have failed to mention in the past two videos is that the ends of the segments in this segmented lines all take values where the cumulative probability distribution function has a discontinuity. For example, for the case shown here, the division between the blue and the green segment is at fx of 0. The division between the green and the red segment is at fx of 1, and the end of the line is at fx of 2. This is important to mention because when it comes to generating certain kinds of continuous random variables, we are going to use the cumulative probability distribution function directly. In particular, and as shown here, we are going to generate a uniform random variable between 0 and 1. And we are then going to read off the value for which the cumulative probability distribution function takes this particular value. Furthermore, this approach will work for the reasons that are similar to the reasons the algorithm that we just introduced for generating Poisson random variables and which we also use for generating multinomial random variables. To make all this concrete, let's use these ideas to generate an exponential random variable. You will have learned elsewhere that the exponential random variable has the cumulatively probability mass function shown at the top of this slide. As I discussed on the previous slide, we are going to generate a uniform random variable u in the usual way. Furthermore, we are going to say that this u value is the value of the cumulative probability distribution function if it is evaluated for a particular value x of the exponential random variable. We can thus find the value of the exponential random variable, capital X, by using the inverse function of the cumulative probability distribution function on u. To find the inverse function, we, need, we can start by rearranging the expression for the cumulative probability distribution function. We then take natural logarithms of both sides and rearrange to get the relationship between the exponential random variable that we want, capital X, and the uniform random variable that we can generate, u, that is shown here. We can, in fact, make this expression even simpler by recalling that 1 minus u is also a uniform random variable between 0 and 1. We can thus replace the 1 minus u in the logarithm with simply u. We thus find that if we generate uniform random variables between 0 and 1, we can generate exponential random variables by just applying the simple transformation shown here. This is precisely what you will need to do in order to complete the next task. So as always, good luck.